Okay guys, welcome to Our World Outdoors. This is Tony and today we're going to be doing the one year review on the cheap thousand watt grid tie. Now this poor thing's been through the ringer. I mean it absolutely has. The only way I could do it any worse is to mount it outside somewhere. So let me pick up the camera here and I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the area it lives in. Okay, so this is the outdoor wood burner building where we have our wood burning furnace. And as you can see, walls aren't technically finished, metal ceiling, you know, wood rack. Look at the floor. Seriously. Look at the dirt and stuff comes in off the wood and stuff. Dust. You know a bunch of junk but through all that and I mean you know smoke and ash from the wood burner furnace I mean it's not hard to tell how dirty wood is and the other thing that we have to explain here is moisture because we bring our clothes out here and dry them so by drying them, you put moisture into the air out here. Okay. Now in the summer, I leave the door open because it gets hot in here. And I don't want that thing to overheat. So in the summer, unless I'm walking by and it's raining or something, the door stays open. So the moisture day and night gets in here too. And this poor grid tide just keeps on working. So let me get you back on the tripod so we're no, not so shaky. And then I'll go in and talk to you about it and why it's been able to keep going. Okay, now. The first thing you have to understand about these grid ties is they're cheap. And they're made in China. A lot of stuff's made in China, but these are made cheap. The MOSFETs in them are not that good. And it's kind of a crapshoot on them. At least that's what they'll tell you. You can watch millions of videos on YouTube about these things being blown up and fixing them and stuff. Here's the secret. Whatever it says, like this one says a thousand watts, only do 60% of what it says. Stay 60% or under what it says, and as long as it's not in ridiculous conditions, it should hold up for a while. Now, I can't guarantee on every unit, because some of them we found that come with like bolts loose and jumping around inside of them and other stuff, but put this in perspective, I paid $115 for that grid tie from eBay. All right, it's a thousand watt. Now, also, don't be tricked by their misleading ads. These are not MPPT, just so you know. You're gonna have to excuse the background noise, guys, from my wood burner and from the grid tie. So, if you look on it, it says input 22 to 50 volts DC. That means until it hits 22 volts out of my panels, it doesn't cut in and start. Now, I have two GCI 285 watt panels. So I'm under the 600 watt range. I'm close, but I'm under it. And I have seen this thing pump out probably three kilowatt hours, maybe a little more in the massive dead of summer through this thing a day. Generally, it only does about three quarters to one and a half kilowatts a day, which doesn't seem like much, but considering I bought my panels for 130 bucks a piece, and 115 in this and then just some wire I'll have that paid off doing that in no time but at 12 months running in these ridiculous conditions and it still continues to function I mean that is not a bad product I see a lot of people talking bad about these little grid tie inverters but I'm telling you right now they can pump out some power I'm running a total of four of them right now. I've got three of this style and one of a cheaper style. It's about $105 on Amazon that I'm testing as well. But as long as you're running these things correctly and you're staying under their rated, you know, 60% of what they say they can do, then generally speaking, these things will last. My conditions here, I mean, I'll admit I get up on top of it and blow down through it or you know, might have to give it a little bump on it to shake some of the dust out of it sometimes. But I don't actually go in and clean anything. I don't mess with it. 
and it just runs. And it'll just keep running, and I'll let it keep running until it dies. And then when it dies, I'll move it to a different location and put a new one in. But for right now, I'm not messing with it. This thing has run through the worst of conditions. I know it's rained for a whole week this summer, and I had that door open the whole time. The moisture inside that thing would have had to been terrible. And I've come out here where it's 105 degrees inside this building when I've had my wood burner just stoked up real heavy in the early fall. And that grid tile just be pumping away. So it's really hard to kill these things. And after 12 months, I have no complaints. And I'm sure that I'll get at least another 12 months, if not another year or two more after that out of it. So, just a little update, 12 month grid tie review under pretty much the worst possible conditions and she's still going strong. So until next time, I'm Tony with Our World Outdoors and we'll see ya.